Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a self-care routine or a shower routine at night. Um, this is all the products that I use. Starting off with my native body wash, it is vanilla and coconut. It smells really good. It's more on the coconut side than vanilla, but it smells completely amazing and it doesn't leave your body dry or like skin dry. For me, I suffer with like eczema spots rather than having like patches of eczema. But this truly helped my skin. I really simply just started using it about like two weeks ago. So now I'm just lathering up. So I just rinse that off. Now I'm going with my own the Feminine Wash. Then I take my exfoliating gloves and I will be using my Tree Hut Macroom Rose Scented Sugar Scrub. It smells really amazing. It's more on the clean side than it is fruity. I just rub that into my underarms where I try to get all the leftover deodorant that the soap didn't get. And I rub that into my arms and on my chest and back. Now I will be taking my bump eraser by KP. Uh, I'll be using it on my bikini area to lighten up my dark spots. Then I take my sugar scrub that I use for under my arms and I will rub that on my legs along with my exfoliating gloves. Now I'll be going into shaving. Uh, I just use any type of shaving cream. It doesn't really matter to me. Honestly, I would take my, um, I think it's by Venus. It's like the metal one, but all razors are the same. This is a five blade. And then I just go in and shave. I normally don't have hair on my legs. If it is, it's like very thin. I just go over and shave again. I think I shaved like last week. And I shave like every like once a week, maybe twice a week if I'm feeling it. Um, twice a week only if I feel like the pricklies on my legs. I hate that. Now I'm going in with my tea tree oil from the hair store. I will be rubbing that into my legs while my legs are still wet because tea tree oil is good for ingrown hairs and like inflammation. After I am out of the shower, I don't dry my skin off with the towel I just let it air dry right here I am taking my body oil and the scent coconut um and just rubbing it all on my skin I typically do not put any type of lotion or oil on when I'm going to bed because I feel like it makes your sheets dirty faster and I hate the feeling of thick products being on my leg rather than just clean or dry skin it makes my skin feel dirty now I'll be rubbing it into my arm. I will be taking my ingrown hair wipes. I got this from my European Wax Center. Um, these help. This is like an ingrown hair serum. I really do be seeing a difference. Now we'll be taking my extractor tools to get any of the ingrown hairs out. Let's move on into face care. First, I will take in my whitening strip from Crest and I will be putting that on my teeth. I leave this on for 30 minutes. You can do this every other day. And before y'all get on me, I did not have my other face wash, but I will be washing my face with Dove Sensitive Soap because I will be using the chemical peel from Ordinary. Um, they recommend to use a gentle face wash before putting it on. 
I will be putting this all on my problem problem areas that I have like um, big pores like my cheeks, my chin, and my forehead. I don't apply this all over my face because you're not supposed to. It's supposed to be like a spot treatment. Now we'll go on into my hair treatment. This is a grease that I made um, with like sulfur, you know, stuff like that. Many different oils, but I grease my scalp every two days because I do have my hair in braids and I do not want it to break off. And also I will let this face treatment sit for 10 minutes and now I'm washing it off. Like I said, I have very small pores, so I will be taking my charcoal pore strips. Um, I will leave that on until all of them dry. Look at me, so cute. Excuse my eyebrows. Now I'll be taking my Hicks Edge Control. This stuff kind of works for my hair, but it's like more on the watery side. And I also will be taking um, Bedhead Hairspray to mold them down. up of having my white strips in and also you're not supposed to brush your teeth before you put them on because you need like some type of protection over your teeth you don't want to just go on just straight teeth so I'm going to be brushing my teeth with sensitive now my pore strips have completely dried this is the most painful part because I do have um, peach fuzz on my face so it like pulls the hair and it's so painful of my open pores see like the little dots under my skin those are clogged pores they are not acne bumps they are just pores I just have very bad clogged pores that produce on my cheeks and my nose I'll just be wiping that off with a wet rag water and glycerin um, face toner y'all should really get this because it feels so amazing I do not rub it in I just let it dry on my face now I'll be going in with my ordinary um, hydrolauric acid I think that's the name of it but it's something all the products and I use my Cerafil moisturizer face lotion just to um, bring back the moisture from the chemical pill then I use my um, Shea butter, African shea butter, to bring all that together, like the oils, um, sealing in the moisture from the other lotions. Look at my skin, it's, it glows so much after that chemical peel, and the shea butter just pops it off. Now I'll be using, putting on my deodorant for the night, and then I will be ending it with my perfume into the night. It smells so good. I just go crazy with it sometimes. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the end of the video. Bye.